Hey there, Cancer. This is Chronic Joy Tarot, and we're here to do your soul guidance reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, or anyone else who's guided to this video. If you've trusted your intuition and pushed play on this video, then the message is for you. The way my readings go, if you're new, first of all, welcome, thank you. My readings are all about you, your soul, its development, aspects of yourself you can focus on in order to continue to expand, and really not a lot about others or predictive outcomes or, or things like that. My reading style is very geared toward your spirit. Um, I use the Zen Tarot deck, and I use one oracle card every reading to give us a topic or an aspect of ourselves to focus on. And the deck that that Oracle card's coming from at this time is the Native Spirit deck by Denise Lynn. And for you, Cancer, the card I pulled is Vision Quest. So this is a time to go within, to become still, and listen for, listen and look for, and be alert of signs on how to proceed. If you feel like you have a big decision to make, this is imperative right now to go within. Um, less action, more stillness. Retreat and allow your inner truth to emerge. If you don't have anything pressing or any burning questions or something, then this is an indication to take a little time away from your ordinary life and spend time more with yourself in quietude, okay? Doesn't have to mean you have to, you know, lock up the house and shut, the, shut the, all the blinds and be gone for three days. It's just incorporate more quiet time, more time with yourself into your life. There's times to take action and be out there and external and, and you know, exerting your energy out there. But at this time, we want you to increase that quiet time, okay? Just for, just for a little, until you get some clarity, right? Until your vision becomes clear on what to do next, how to proceed. We're gonna use the Zen Tarot deck here to clarify it, and I've uh, laid out the tree spread. It's my made up um, spread. <laughs> And this is our starting point here. And then we have an internal supporting energy and an external energy key to moving forward and then a newer level of understanding. So this is all related to your quest for clarity by going within, okay? Starting point here, Cancer, is conditioning. I love this. This is, the, this is talking about Seeing yourself from the inside out as you really are. Seeing your true authentic self, less worried about how others perceive you. This is the story of the lion and the sheep who grew up together. The lion grew up in a, within a flock of sheep and all his life just thought he looked like a sheep and he was a sheep and that's how everybody saw him until one day he took a sip of water from the pond and saw a lion looking back at him and he was startled thinking, what, this is how everyone sees me? You know, this isn't who I am, right? So this is kind of um, guiding you to not completely reject, but to sort of be aware of the way people perceive you as opposed to who you truly are and, and be more of the latter. Um, come from a more internal um, knowing of what you stand for, who you are, and letting that um, be your guide. And that has a lot to do with this internal time. The time spent with your inner self will help develop um, this stand more strongly. It will help develop your knowing of your purpose and um, you know the way you want to show up in life. You'll be more connected to that knowing, okay? So perhaps some of you have a situation where you're being misread 
or you're being judged in in an unfair way or just simply being judged whether or not you're absorbing it there that is happening around you and this is a calling for you to sh sort of shore up those internal strengths that you carry get more in touch with that deep true self that you are and be in that energy more okay and that will require uh, some more taking some more time to sort of check out for a little bit you know check out of your ordinary life check out of um, the regular routine not to disappear like I said but to spend more time with yourself okay internally this um, quest to be sure you're in full alignment with your authentic self internally you might feel uh, it's all right. It doesn't really matter. I don't care how I show it. I don't care how people think of me or whatever. Like I've done enough to be in touch with my, my authentic self. I've done enough to gain my alignment. Well, we're never really done, are we? We're never really done. And up until this point, perhaps you've just been sort of resting on your laurels and kind of letting things roll status quo day to day. And this really is sort of an affirmation that it's time to step it up a notch. It's time to pull it in, get in, in touch with your true authentic self, and then start a, new, start a new phase, per se, of your soul's you know, existence. Um, expansion, ascension, emerging, more of that, more growth, okay? In your external world, I pulled the past lives card. So this is asking you to be aware of patterns in your life. So you can sort of take an assessment, look back on your life and see particular patterns that have brought you to this place or that have kept you feeling less in touch with your alignment, less in touch with your authenticity. Maybe your pattern is to uh, trust what your best friend says more than yourself. You know, that's just a, a simple, very basic example. But if you're aware that that pattern's there, then you have the power to shift it. It doesn't mean you stop listening to your friend altogether or you tell them, reject them and say, you're, you're always wrong. It just means have an awareness of it. Have you know, be attuned to those patterns that keep you going in cycles, that keep you being seen as only one thing by others, right? You have that power to shift it. That internal time, that time with yourself, that checking in is the starting, is the way to start that shift, okay? Um, and if you're not, if this isn't, you know, resonating with you exactly, First of all, you can look at any other video or your moon and rising sign video, but this is something that could be a recurring theme for a lot of us in life, right? We are not ever just one thing. We're not always the same, right? It's continued, it's continuing to expand. And so when you get to this point where you realize, oh, there's, you know, I, I'm ready to do a little more here. I'm ready to reach for more then this is when you come into this awareness that, oh, in the past I've done ABC, maybe now I'm gonna try XYZ and see what result comes, right? And this all comes out of your reflective time alone. Then the key to moving forward is this card called comparison. So yeah, there is not one right way. The way that your friend sees it and tells you this is how life is, this is what you should do, isn't the only way right? And there isn't any need for you to compare your experience with any other because your experience is yours. And, and the way our minds kind of trick us into thinking, oh, I should be farther along in my life now, or I should be at this point, or I should have more of this or more connection or more money or whatever. There is, that's a waste of energy <laughs> because your life is unique to you and your quality of life, the way you experience it, if you are more or less fulfilled in any one moment, that's of your creation. 
You don't have to compare it to anything external, any other person, or anyone else's judgment. And there is nothing wrong at all with where you stand in this very moment. There's nothing wrong about it. And if you want to make a shift, do an inner assessment. Go on that vision quest. Spend that time with yourself. Get in touch with your inner self. And know, yeah, I can change a couple things today and create a new outcome. I can shift the way I see things. I can shift the way I see myself or the way I interact with others, right? Your journey is yours alone. And when you come upon that realization, that's when the real work begins or the real um, benefit and outcome begins. And look at what that benefit is. Wow. Higher consciousness, raising your vibration to reach that highest level of awareness, continuing to expand just like the Buddha. Your intuition is a strong part in this, in this, in this um, state of being. And if you see that third eye lit up, and that is circling right back to our original card, getting in touch with your internal being and trusting that guide, trusting the next step. We don't have to go out and create the world in one fell swoop, right? We don't have to, you know, be in a constant state of achievement, right? Because the, the point you stand on in the path of your life at any given point is the achievement, right? This very moment, okay? Internally, you might find that you're, um, it's starting to really build up. This need for a shift, this need to move higher, the need to really create more. You find that building up and what to do with it? Sit with it, be with it, see with clarity what your next step will be, what your next point of growth and expansion will be. In your external world, you may still find that like these past patterns, you have, you know, like that pattern we talked about where your friend's always guiding you and telling you what to do. Remember, that's your friend's own perception projecting it onto you. Be aware of, now this is not something you can do away with entirely because we are human beings and this is kind of how we function at times, is that we wish our wishes upon others or they wish theirs upon you. They need you to behave a certain way in order to fulfill their expectation of their own life, right? So just be aware of it, don't buy into it, and let it be as it is. Others are always going to be seeing through their own lens, as you are, right? And when you have that friend that's saying, you need to try this, you need to try that, if that doesn't resonate with your own lens, with your own soul, with your inner guide, you can just gently move away from it. Rise up, get higher, get higher in that consciousness, raise your vibration and know it's okay. It's okay that that's how you need me to show up, I accept that, and, not but, but and, this is the way I will proceed because this is what's right for me, right? I've spent some time, you know, with myself and I know how to go forward. I know how to go forward for me. The outcome of this reading, I've pulled this card so many times this cycle, and let me tell you, I shuffle a lot in between readings off camera is the sharing card. This seems to be the time of opening up for, for a lot of us. Giving from the heart, becoming your authentic self and then showing up as that. Starting with the quiet time alone, starting with that checking in, taking an assessment of where you stand, um, what your needs are and making shifts to fulfill them and then bringing it up and out and allowing others to sort of bask in your discovery, bask in, in, in your heart, give it away, give it up, because that's how we create strong connections. That's how we create a fulfilling, um, really satisfying space in, that we take up in this world, is through connection, through authenticity, being in full alignment with ourselves and you know, listening to how others need us to show up, but not always complying, right? Because then that's not our truth. 
That's not, that's not our destiny at all. Okay? So Cancer, more time, quiet time with yourself day to day for the next, you know, handful of days. Uh, really check in, take an assessment of how others perceive you versus what you feel is coming from the inside. And if there's a big disparity between those two, don't spend time comparing it and saying, I need to change and I need to become, just move higher, right? Go higher, see it all from a bigger perspective, a wider perspective, and know that as we are all connected, we are also vastly different and we're all on our own unique journey, okay? All right, dear Cancer, that will be it for now. I love you guys very much. Thank you for being here, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.